it's vital to understand that 95% of the aviation theory, practice and procedures I teach and of course personally use, on every flight since I started paragliding in the mid-90s, directly contradict what businesses like the BHP Limited sell. Pilots should never forget there is a close, direct connection in aviation between input, theory, practice and procedures, and output, accident, injury and death rates. Okay. Okay, we've got the centre of the wing here. Wings are getting ahead of him a wee bit. Still okay though. Yep, he's fine. As long as it doesn't go much lower than that. Don't worry about the tip. If you bring the wing up to the top, then the tip will come out. And behind the wing at the moment, Yeah, if you hang on. So, to do that, you just simply identify the tip line on that side, ease the tip line towards you and then release, and it's free. You want me to take it back to the top, or are you okay? So rather than ease, I'd be using the harness. So simply, settle and surge it. So just keep your hands on the brakes, from there, ease forward to let it settle, give it a wee surge and then brake as soon as it lifts clear of the grass. Yep. There you go, that's it, go, go, go. And again, just let it take you up to the top. Good. Yep. You want me to take it up? That's fine. As many as you need. Yeah, you're fine. Now as the wing and the slope, the wind is slightly crossed, so the right wing, the one to your left, is the one you want to launch early. Yeah. And that will pull you more into the slope. So your left brake stays on. Yep, just that one. Almost there. Yes, well done. Okay.
Okay, slow turn, and you're ready to fly. On check. <laughs> yeah. So the trick would have been to roll the wing, keep a tip on the ground as I did earlier with his wing, and use it to jog up. Now that's a faster beat, so you want to do a turn so you're more into wind on landing, which is do no. And that way you don't get that extra drag down there. Anyway, vertex is a bit damp and showing a bit of a deep stall tendency, but I might fly it. Wait and see what its plans are. Switching off. Yeah. Checks. Right, so if gravity is closing over like that, with the slope, there's not enough. Checks. So, we want the two A's, the centre A's, and the two A's, the centre A's, check the airspace and see if there's enough wind. There, brake, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I want roll because it's slightly crosswind. Not too much brake. Brake now. Drop it down into stall and surge. Slippy underfoot. Keep the roll in. So with the roll in, not too much brake. You can jog up. Pushing back, keeping the vector. So, we've got a slightly crosswind component. So, slow beat that way and trying to turn isn't going to hack it. So, I need to take off into the lift and into the best beat. So, from there, I want more ground speed and air speed. So I'm going to ease off the brakes, but I'm going to, as you correctly pointed, I'm going to step the wrong way. And I'm straight away into the beat. Launching. So I'm slowing it down slightly so the wind is pushing me back over the top of the ridge. So when I do the turn, I'll be turning around with more horizontal wind, lower ground speed, spending more time here going at the left. So I've got the lean, ease off the base, around, climb, damp up at the top of the climb, then to maximum efficiency. And it's all about flying with the harness. Harness control. Check the airspace. Drift back. I want more horizontal wind. Give me a lower ground speed. Checks. Okay. And go round. Checks. 
My reason for the check after the turn there is I'd already checked it before a turn I want to make sure nobody's seen me turn and think, right, I'm going to take off now. And I want to know long before I'm in the established beat if there's another pilot taking off behind me. Check above as well. As I say, you should be holding on to the brakes, but predominantly you're flying it with the harness. Don't over control with the brakes, they're there to assist. Okay, slowing down a bit so I drop in behind the bridge. So when I put the turn in, I've got the lean and it's zero brake to put the turn in. Reversal. And I can sit there after a reasonable time and then slowly ease off to maximum efficiency. Information, not information. Down the risers, brakes. Stabilise yourself, that gives you a lot of harness control so you can actively control, actively control. Notice brakes haven't moved at all. steady. Brakes not used. They're there to assist. They are Setting up, turning around the vertex. Zoom, climb, damp out at the top. Check the airspace. Still can't see the juice bottle. Checking the airspace. Words up. Okay. Setting up for the turn, let myself drift back a bit, putting the lean in with the harness, and when I'm ready to turn. Damp down at the top of the climb, stabilise the harness, ease off back to max efficiency. Checking the airspace. Reading the landing head, what is the shape of the slope? Anything that's feature on it, what do to the overall Start looking for the juice bottle. Check the airspace.
Dive it, diving. Let the wing get ahead where it should be so it doesn't give me lift until I tell it to. You flying again? So from there, pick the spot, put the roll control in. You can go there and drop it on there. Yeah, but safer to clip in here. Let it settle down, let it settle down and walk with the wind. parallel part. So that way you're not clipping in on quite a lifty slope, slippy underfoot, anything like that, and then lift it over. That's pretty darn simple. Right. And yes, while it's not my sort of wing, it is a very nice wing. <laughs> and it doesn't tend to stall. <laughs> Fortunately. For me. Yes, that way. Right, shut down just now. Right, okay. There you go. <coughs> Wing center. Good checks. Excellent. So I like people checking. It's okay, don't worry about it, we're fine. Right. Okay, so ease down slope a little bit. So down, that's it. I'll get the rest of the wing out. Wing tip out, it tips out. Right. Just check in case it's a slug or something. Well, not slug, a tick. Something wet and squelchy in the boot. I might get up from that. Certainly got wind. He scratches all the way along. Yep, getting a bit of lift there. All the way along. I'm going to be just about zero brake, maximum efficiency. Looking okay so far. It's still got more ridge. Come on. Going out front a wee bit, but there is a secondary lift there you can sometimes get. No, nope. 
almost certainly going down the yep, beach. Good escape route though, good call on that. Right. right. So you want to ease back with the harness until all the lines has a tiny bit of tension on it. Then you acquire the centre raise only. Okay, now slowly peel on and hold the centre raise. All you're wanting is to catch air into the wing. So there's no jerking, you just ease them on and just wait. Yep, just wait, wait, that's fine. Now, the settle and surging you do with the harness, not with the hands. That's it, yep, good, yes. So settle it and surge, that's it. It's quite windy at the moment. Okay, there we go. Let it fly up. Okay, damp it down, damp it down. Launching! Hi Adrian. Yes, sorry, I'm just getting out of the wind. I'm, I'm out and about at the moment, so I'm just up and down. Same amount. Hi.